Thank you for clicking on the video. I just got back from watching The First Omen. And with The First Omen, it tells the story of a young woman who is sent to Rome to begin a life of service to the church until she encounters a darkness that causes her to question her own faith and uncover a terrifying conspiracy that hopes to bring the birth of evil incarnate. And that's all pretty much say. I'm giving any spoilers to you guys. This will be a spoiler-free review. I was not looking forward to the first omen. So like I mentioned, when I did my review for Sidney Sweeney's Immaculate, I do not really get into religious horror movies. They just don't pique my interest all that much, and I kind of dread going to see them, and that's really how I was feeling going into the first omen. I was never too big on the omen franchise. I never fully watched the series. I've seen bits and pieces of the franchise over the years. In fact, I only just recently rewatched that original omen and actually quite liked it. I also feel like rewatching it helped my enjoyment of this movie, but then to my surprised I was seeing a lot of my movie mutuals give it amazing reviews saying it was outstanding it was fantastic phenomenal even which only increased my excitement then to go see it because Immaculate already surprised me as a religious horror movie that ended up winning me over so I was like first omen gonna do the same it, it, it kind of does. Yeah, I say, I say it does. I will say as far as being a prequel to the original Omen and tying into that franchise, it does a masterful job weaving itself in. Not only because it's able to build up on what that movie establishes, but it creates some new possibilities for the franchise. And you know, getting to what I was saying at the beginning of this review, I'm going to compare it to Immaculate a little bit, and that's because when you watch both movies, there are a lot of similarities, but they go about them in very different ways. And just to not even keep you in suspense about it, I'm willing to say the first Omen is a better made movie. Both movies deal with a young American woman coming into a foreign country, joining into a church, wanting to devote their life to a higher power, only to find out that the church they signed up for has a secret conspiracy up their sleeve that involves the birth of a child. But the first omen takes everything so much more serious from thematics, performances, score. Nell Tiger Free, who plays the main character in here, gives one amazing performance. She starts off as this shy, timid, quiet girl, and through the course of the movie, she just delivers a range of emotions. The movie also just does such a great job of building this dread and feeling of evil presence, which I think is what the Omen franchise was really good with, at least in that first movie. But that might be to the detriment of some people, because I'm willing to say this movie's a little slow. You need to have a little bit of patience. At least I know I did, because in the first 25 minutes, part of me was like, what is everybody raging about? This is doing everything I kind of hate about religious horror movies. Thankfully, the story picks up, the mystery unfolds, and you get some really grotesque, nasty sequences. Some stuff that surprised me. Things I really didn't want to be looking at while eating a bucket of popcorn, I'll tell you that. It said that this movie was originally given an NC-17, which if you don't know is like a higher rating than an R rating. And while there's not a lot of these bloody, grotesque sequences, the ones you do get on there really elevated the film and different differentiated it from a typical studio-made horror movie. Because you can feel there was some serious money put in here. It looks beautiful. There's some amazing shots. And quite a few times, the imagery on screen actually had me terrified. To me, overall, it was another pleasant surprise going to enjoy a religious horror movie. You know, even though we have our preferences, it's always good to take those biases out when going to see a movie. Now, I will also say... Although I admitted this is a much better made movie top to bottom from Immaculate, there's a part of me that still likes the B-horror movie approach that Immaculate had towards the end. It's a little bit more simplified, a little bit more straightforward. A lot of the themes don't hit you over the head, but it will be interesting to see the different things people like and don't like about these two movies with their similarities. And one thing I did find kind of funny though is although this movie took itself a lot more seriously in terms of telling its story, the allegory it was connecting in terms of people who were abused, giving it religious undertones and whatnot in the very last scene of this movie, the last like three, four minutes it just feels like the most marvel avengers setup cut off it honestly made me chuckle a little bit if you see the movie you'll probably know what i'm talking about but with this movie really complementing nicely the first film and even expanding the lore it opens avenues for things that weren't possible before in the omen franchise whether that'll come to fruition and we'll see more movies in this universe We'll see, but this is a way better film than I was expecting it to be, especially from a lot of the trailers that were making it look just oh so generic and downright boring. So for the first Omen, I'm gonna give action two stars. Like I said, this is a slow burn movie. You're gonna have to take some patience with it. I think the payoff and the buildup with the movie getting progressively better as the time goes on is worth it. But a lot of the thrill, scares, and intense moments are just sprinkled throughout. Comedy in the movie, I'll give one star too. It's not really a funny film. There's not a lot of jokes in here. There's probably like four in total, but that's really good for 
a dead serious horror movie. Drama in the movie, I'm gonna give it four stars. I like the way I went from just not being interested into this story to just getting progressively more invested as things were revealed. There is one aspect of the movie though I did forget to talk about and that's like a twist that happens. I'm saying twist with quotation marks because it felt like such an obvious reveal but the movie treats it like a giant revelation. Other than that though, I really like the way this was able to build onto the Omen franchise and expand it out a little more. Part in the movie, I'm gonna give it three stars. There is just some terrifying imagery in here, some unsettling stuff. The way the tension is just built from the beginning to the end of the movie, building this dread, I think will leave a lot of people haunted. And suspense the movie, I'm gonna give it three stars. The slower nature does kind of derail some of that suspense, but when those intense moments are happening, you are glued in. Casual movie goers, I'm gonna give it a B plus. Cinephiles, I'm gonna give it a B minus. And critically, I'm going to give it an A minus. So for the first omen, I think this was a surprisingly well done prequel to a horror film that is worth watching in theaters. <laughs> I saw a lot of my movie mutuals saying that this is most likely the best horror movie we've had this year. And I was like, oh, that was good, but that good? And then I looked at my list of horror movies I've seen so far and it was like, yeah, so far, this is the best horror movie of this year. Let me know what you guys thought about the first omen, what you like, what you didn't like. Anything and everything, be sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.